about frozen foods okay frozen foods for those of you who do not know new to my channel I'm on a healthy weight loss journey you're welcome here no matter what plan you're doing I've decided to do Weight Watchers though okay so whatever you're here for um, we can definitely encourage each other we talk about all things not just diet we talk about mental stuff we talk a lot about bowel movements <laughs> And we talk a little bit about everything, okay? So welcome to my channel. If you have not already, click subscribe and share. But let's get right into it. So frozen foods, guys. Today we're gonna talk about, I got some chicken strips. I got some bacon, turkey, and chicken patties, okay? So let's talk about frozen foods really quick. And then I'm gonna talk about each one of these and why I chose these, okay? So frozen foods typically are preserved by freezing. You know, sometimes you have to thaw them out and they freeze it because they try to make sure it don't have no bacteria in it. It helps with um, keeping the food from spoiling. And in a lot of frozen foods, you may have your fruits, vegetables, meats, poultry, pizza, all this kind of stuff. Because, you know, I show you my fruit all the time. Hold on. Because I have, I have frozen blueberries. I have my frozen strawberries. Hold on one second. My bag was open. I don't want these to spill in the freezer. So I have my frozen strawberries. I have my frozen frozen mango. Mango. I have frozen avocado. Tilapia. <laughs> so, a lot of, I have a lot of frozen stuff, right? And the reason that we use frozen foods, frankly, is for the convenience factor, right? And you can store it forever, sometimes six months, a year. Things will be heating up pretty quick, quickly. That's why I bought these turkey patties. And then it's easier, too, you can save money sometimes if you're just one in your family. Or if it's just two of you instead of buying a big old pack of something and wasting money. The thing with frozen foods is you have to be careful because they usually have a lot of preservatives, additives, and high, high amounts of sodium and sugar. Okay? So, I will say this. When I eat frozen stuff, the nitrates that's like in turkey and bacon, which is in there if it's frozen or not frozen, but some of those additives too, they do affect my joints. So I try not to eat a lot of frozen stuff. I just went to the store yesterday and I bought these few things, but my mother-in-law had mentioned this chicken to me and it is really good. So it's air fried and you put it in your air fryer and this is just good to put on top of a chicken salad if you want something quick for lunch. You can even wrap it like a little chicken taco, but it's air fried and it's only two points. I believe it was for two, two of the strips. And it has 75% less, less fat, as it says here, this is a Tyson brand. So these are actually pretty good. They're air fried, got that right at um, Publix. Then I have this turkey, these turkey patties. These are actually two points each for a patty. But I found that I can just do one patty and split it with my meat. I just want a piece of meat with my egg and toast if I decide to eat this. Now the sodium in this, I know it's high, 490 for two patties. And that's 20% um, of what you're supposed to have per day according to the um, USDA, okay? And then these chicken sausage patties. I don't know if you've ever tried chicken sausage, but these are also pretty good. My niece turned me on to these. And two patties is four points, but again, I could have one patty and kind of split it and just have a piece of meat with each piece of bread if I want to eat it like that. I'm trying to save on my points, but yet feel like I had a full breakfast with, when I eat with my family, right? And then last but not least, I do not eat a lot of bacon, but yesterday I wanted a bacon sandwich so bad. And I think it's coming off of my video. I talked about eating at Waffle House with a bacon toaster sandwich. That thing was so good. But I said, I need to make this at home for less. So this is three points for three slices. So I only ate two. So two slices of bacon was only two points. And I used my keto bread. I wanted to show you that. 
So I used my keto bread. I talked about my bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich the other day with this keto bread. So I did the keto bread, two slices, two points, two slices of bacon was two, that's four points. My egg was zero. So you see what I'm doing there? I'm really thinking about what I'm eating and making better decisions. So sometimes frozen foods is gonna be a good option. I'm just trying to close this back because you don't always feel like cooking, right? Who wanna take time to take the chicken, ground it up, et cetera, et cetera, right? No, so this is just something that I found, okay? So this also is something quick. I'm gonna freeze this and pull out two as I need to, the turkey. And again, I got my chicken here. So you see, I do a lot of, um, I don't do a lot. I should let me rephrase that because I try not to do a lot of frozen foods, but I have it on hand if I need to because this is better than if I'm going to eat out at McDonald's, okay? Let's just be real. I have my notes there. So again, if you're gonna choose, if you're gonna choose um, frozen foods, try to find things that are, that has less preservatives, less sugars, less sodiums, okay? And if you're gonna have it, try to pair it maybe with some fruit, fresh fruit and some vegetables, something so you can have a nutritious meal. So again, here I had the bacon, chicken, sausage, this, and I don't even eat meat every day like this. I just don't. This is just having a variety in my home so like I said, my first choice ain't like, oh, let me go to McDonald's. Well, I don't have to go to McDonald's because I do have something here if I get that urge for something different. My normal go-to breakfast is my smoothie. I'm still doing my smoothies. And I go crazy when I can't get them. So it's funny how once you start developing habits, that it sticks with you. It really does. So it's taken me a minute to get to the point where... I don't mind having my smoothie every day. Matter of fact, now I'm at a point I've been doing it so long, if I don't have a smoothie sometime throughout that day, I almost feel like I'm missing something. So habits, um, they say it takes 30 days, I believe, 20 to 30 to form a new habit. So I've been doing this now for almost four months. So yeah, I'm forming new habits and it feels good. So I just wanted to share this with you. If you do have to eat frozen foods, and again, there's nothing wrong with it, just kind of determine what you're putting in your body make sure you continue to read your labels you know check your points check your calories check your sugars whatever you're checking and because you if you don't read it then you don't know what's in it okay so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up guys but until next time this is healthy life with kimmy bye